No sit at home on election days and sat his Biafran group mass up as resident to vote massively. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The movement for the actualization of sovereign state of Biafra Maso says there would be no seat at home or election back out in the southeast region on election day advising them to ignore any such cause. Maso of the most pro-Biafra agitation group, however, charged resident of the southeast to come out a mass on the election day and vote for their preferred candidate without any fear of intimidation or harassment from any group. There shall be no seat at home on the days of election mass of declared in statement issued Wednesday through its national director of information comrade Samuel Edison. The statement partly read, do not allow anybody to deceive you in name of Biafra because we know the real Biafra agitators, and those paid to create confusion in our land. Mass of insist that election must hold in Igbo land because we cannot allow the enemies of Ndibu to destroy our God-given land. It is clear that some enemies of Ndibu has bought over some of our brothers, brainwashed them, and they turned them against their own people. That is why they want about killing our own people, destroying our economy, and making life difficult for our people. Masob wishes to make it clear that as we move on with Biafra project, which is restoration of independent state of Biafra, we will not allow Igbo land to remain in vacuum. That is why we advise the people to go out and vote for their preferred candidate on the 25th day of February 2023. Any group or any person saying that there shall be no election in Biafra land are enemies of Ndip and should be disregarded. If you don't vote that day, others will and the enemies of Ndip will impose their support puppet on our people just like what happened in Imo State. Masob has directed all her members to go and vote for all our candidates on the days of election. It's quite unfortunate that even as this time around, people don't still understand that there is difference between there is no election in Biafra land and different between pleading with your people and the reason why they should not vote. There is difference between forcing your people not to go for vote and there is difference between Lettering them on why the vote cannot count. But in everything, we all know that sitting at home on election day cannot give us Biafra, neither can it bring Nandekano or the freedom of Nandekano. This sitting at home cannot do neither of those things. That is the truth. Some people will not learn. You can see what is happening. They are so called a leader of autopilot. Only a little threat by police of Finland. He was shaking like someone who Hamatan caught catch. He used of him to stand there and back up the club and back up the so called autopilot he created. Rather, he preferred to claim to be leader of IPUB. That Mazen Nam the Kano, through a lawyer, handed him over IP to his hand. One of the biggest lies from Peter of Hell. And these are the people, people continue to follow and they continue to call him Dragon this, Dragon that. But he could not defend or accept wholeheartedly that he is the leader of autopilot, that he created autopilot. Does he mean that autopilot was not registered? When people tell you that you should learn, don't know your left and right, take it from them. I'm tired of talking. All you people know how to do is causing problems, blocking different channels. Because people are telling you, are telling you the truth. Can you easily, those who are fleeing autopilot, I want to do one thing today. Can you easily tell the autopilot leader 
your are leader of autopilot because first because there is nothing I call I put pilot. Can you tell him to openly come out to public and tell the world and tell Bia France that if this election is by court after the election that he will get Biafra or Nan Kalu be released? He will not do that because he is a liar. Can you tell him to do that? So that people will be responsible if none of those happen. He will not. And the colonel who has been chopping his dog was not a fool. That he did not one day go back out of election, talk of enforcing it, should teach you one thing that back out of election, sit at home on day of election by force, can never give us Biafra or lease of him. No doubt, 2019, he, tell, he told his people to sit at home. That was before the election day. But later on, he cut it off. Because he later found out that that cannot give him Biafra. Rather, it will give me, make him enemy of the world. It will make Biafra an enemy of the world. If you so much believe in freedom, so much believe in people's rights, so much believe in referendum, why would you tell people not to exercise their right? Not only that you are telling them, you are threatening them and you have killed so many people, including pregnant women and the 11 of our mothers. Because they refuse to obey their seat, useless seat at home. And again, let me ask this question. Why should you obey your seat at home? Who are you? Who are you? You cannot show any single thing you have Giving to this struggle, you cannot show any single thing that will make people believe in you. Talk less of listening to you to sit at home. What sacrifice have you made in this struggle? This is one of the things those your followers should be asking you. What sacrifice? Apart from castigating people, going around telling people you will not listen to someone who is in this dungeon, but that's a person. That he claim you will not listen to a person who is in the John job. When you are captured like a chaff that you are, you are shaken because of a common police of Finland. People have been kept in custody in America. In Kuwait, in Colombia. Upon that, they went through all everything this to come out. Some people are committers. They see come out safely. But common is CID of police of Finland, common Finland. Somebody was shaken. Even as he could hear their language. Some of us who speak Spanish, just like when I've been, maybe I committed something out and they are having me in a Spanish language, I'll be shaken, even as I know the language. Like a For those who have sense, who has sense, but they cannot reason, I pity you. What just happened? And how he denied everything to the extent he did not even mention the so called autopilot that you people are putting both plan in your channels. What to what every day? He could not mention the name of that autopilot, rather, he was claiming to be a member of IPOB. And the leader, in fact, the leader of IPOB, he was also claiming that Nam the Kalo handed him over IPOB through a lawyer that he could not mention his name. This is a man you call dragon. A man you claim will give you Biafra in just a few months. We are, you are still counting it. Are you no, no longer counting? People will be somewhere. Man who want to be. Who is hungry of power. Can do anything. To cast the ghetto dust. Sometimes when I look at people I laugh. 
cannot stop those who are saying the truth. You can only try. As far as this struggle is concerned, I only believe in the Khan. Even the brother in Germany, I don't believe in him. But as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to this struggle and what is happening today, everybody, it's just clear for everybody to see. That Otto Pallot knows more than he's saying. He does not want to obey anybody in DSS dungeon, like he said. He also insulted the wife of a man he claimed was his mentor. He claimed to be a leader of Ipo by Otto Later on, they started entering Otto Pallot direct. But all of a sudden, he was captured. He was claiming to the police that he is a leader of Ipo. He could not mention autopilot that he is posting with, that he created. And some donatists are still following him. <laughs> Too bad. So what happens to Nam Kano, who was challenged? And he left Europe and went to Nigeria. Was captured and arrested. Later on, was released. He went back again. He came back again and he was captured again and sent to prison for two years. After disobedience of different court order, he came out also. He continued. He did not run away. He continued in Biafra land. In different places. Upon that, he did not run away. Until they came to his house to murder 28 people, including his auntie. And the murder, the parents died process. He was evacuated. And he was contemplating on coming again. Until he was kidnapped again. This is what brave men is all about. It's not some chicken-hearted men who continue to pretend call themselves dragon. But they were captured by him. They did not even captured, just an invitation to, for interview. And they already shaken. They already shaken to the extent. They claim that they are leader of, leader of IPOP. A group that the leader, leaders lead, live during their self custody. And these morons could not ask question how come you are leader of IPOP when you are not even part of IPOP? You are not even a registered member of IPOP. You guys should be ashamed, ashamed of yourself. Eleven women killed because they refused to sit at home. The truth is that, for me, I don't even believe in this gibberish of uh, police inviting him in Finland doing this and that. Because after those things, those women he killed will not come back. I've continued to ask myself a question, why? Why should those women be killed? No doubt people died when Namde Kalo was championing for this struggle. But those people that died sacrificed themselves because they believe so much in Biafra and Namde Kalo. They does not, do not want Namde Kalo to die because they saw criminals wearing uniform in the name of DSS and soldiers coming to kill him. There's a difference between that and the, our so-called freedom fighters, who uh, uh, say claim freedom fighters, are busy killing our people who are fighting the same struggle with them because they refuse to sit at home. What have you offered to them? What have you achieved? What sacrifice have you made in this struggle? Now they made a lot of sacrifice before they started believing in him. He went to Nigeria. He preached the gospel of Biafra. From grassroots, and for this they believed in him. So, what can you say you have apart from duping the beer France, fundraising every day and bond that people, creating all sorts of criminals in our land in the name of a, 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 a group, you call them Eastern Security Network, they are not, they are all fake. 
To this time, they are calling people in radio, in phone, calling women. No women are now. Actually, they God. What a shame. You will see them say, what, 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 as if they can do anything. He was just invited, he was shaken. Miracle like body movement, you will see how he was shaken. So I wonder how he's going to give you better friends some days. My people everywhere. You better you learn. What he's doing is to make you enemy of the world. If you do not believe in people's rights, in human rights, you are forcing people not to vote by threatening them with taking 47. That means you don't have right to ask for a referendum. The world will see you as enemy of democracy. And as enemy of democracy, you will never be given a chance for any referendum. And you don't even have the goals to chop your farm struggle. He's a coward. That guy from Finland, that, that guy is a coward. With what happened of this, I just find that. It's just so quiet. I was saying it all this while. But now I really realize that he's a real coward. It's not even water like people are cause. Brave. It's not even water brave like people are cause. It's a complete coward. He told police, the police told him to go back to the Buffalo and the He told police eh, he's afraid of his life. That they don't obey court order. Doesn't man the cow stop your first struggle because of court order? Because of disobedience of court order? He was arrested the first, second, the third, and this fourth one. And Buhari, the liberal, could not least allow him to go. Buhari disobeyed different court order. Why didn't Nandi Kalo stop your first struggle? Why didn't he, when he was, why didn't he run away? <laughs> that will show you how brave he is. When you see brave men, you know what. For how many years now, even Nandi Kalo has budged, or if Nandi Kalo has accepted the offer of Nigerian government and British government, they would have released him all this while. Two guided years. Nandi Kalo has been in DSS custody, not prison yard. This is what we call brave people. Not one moron in the name of autopilot. Whom has continued to mess himself up. And you see some useless autopilot, they'll come to your channel to rant nonsense. Every time they call Indian Zama, do you think we are like you people? Moron for scholars, morons, bookworms, who doesn't know their left and right? Good, good boys. A man who speaks the language of Finland was panicking like a fool. He want to compare himself. People like us has committed so many deadly crimes worldwide. He will understand soon. What they are doing there about police inviting him interview, that is not in my, it's less of my worry. What I'm thinking, how I will use those to keep the appearance to finish him off. And that will happen in time to come. I am a great, if you watch, you will find out that, that since two years, Nandikalo was kidnapped. All my news, when I say this person I don't like his way, I don't. You cannot see any of his single news around me. Upon that, I'm making it big with my news and the freedom fighting because I'm creating things that is the truth. I'm not part of this Woto Woto thing. Whenever you see Woto Woto in my channel, when you enter, you will run away because the Woto Woto be for autopilot people. Nobody is a fool. It's only those who want to be a fool will be fool. He has showed that he has nothing to offer. Like I've always said, that he said was a coward. He has already proven it. Some of you are sure, ah, he has been interviewed with, with international journalists. <laughs> less set of people. What he has to show that you are not even educated. Anybody can be interviewed by international journalists, depending on where you are living.
Eh, you can even tell you when you are doing good things. You can even tell you when you are doing bad things. These things are something they do to monitor you gradually. But this is nothing. Like I said, he is going to regret what the Usu women he killed in their father. Because there is difference between people dying for you and dying for the struggle they believe in. And the people being killed by the same people who claim they are championing for the struggle. Jay Biafra. 